my name is Anne, your guide to an animal's get even. If you like bloodthirsty animals getting back at humanity, then do I have an idea for you. You should subscribe. Now, today's animal has some thoughts about being confused with pigs. It's the collared peccary, also known as the javelina. We'll start in Phoenix, Arizona. Had a hold of my arm and wouldn't let go. And I'm screaming, of course. It was a typical day for Hanson. She was just out walking her dogs. And as she was walking, she noted a, she didn't know at the time, but she, what she noted was a javelina in the bush. Now, because it's Arizona, they have bears and she couldn't quite tell precisely what it was. So she did what you're supposed to do if there's a bear. She made herself look really big and she made a loud noise. Unfortunately, everything happened really quickly after that. Nearly six months later, Nicole Hansen is still in shock after she says a javelina charged and attacked her while walking her three precious pups around the block. So I tried to make myself really big. I was like, okay, maybe it's like a bear, you know? So, so I put my arms up. It worked the first time around, but then she says it came back. See, um, it was not a bear, it was a javelina, and it launched itself at her. Um, it sank its teeth into her arm and would not let go. In her panic during the attack, which, let's be real, we would all be there, she's screaming, she's probably flailing, she drops the dog's leashes. Um, we can forgive her for that one because I, a lot of us would be very startled and very surprised and sometimes your muscles just do things that you don't consciously intend for them to do when things like that happen. Now the dogs are running. Out of nowhere, it hit me from behind. Then the javelina bit her arm to the bone. It tore all of my tendons in my left arm and so I couldn't move any of my fingers and then chipped bone. She gets the javelina off her, she goes to chase her dogs. So you've got the dogs running, you've got Hanson running, and you've got the javelina chasing Hanson. It is a straight up Scooby-Doo in here. Unfortunately, the javelina's top speed is 35 miles per hour. So, it got her. At any point in time, did you think, I'm gonna die? Yes. <laughs> when it had a hold of my arm, for sure. I was like, this is, this is it. Um, it ran right into her back, brought her down to the ground, and continued its assault. We, you know, you might think like, oh, it's such a small animal, who cares? But like, look, if a beaver can take a life, anything can take a life, you know what I'm saying? It's not just that, it's the javelina tore all of the tendons in her left arm. It also bit so deeply that it chipped bone. When you're having that kind of intense pain, you might also be like, oh, this is it. I mean, think about like if you ever have like just the worst stomach pain you can ever envision or um, something happens in your back, wherever. Sometimes when that pain is so bad, you really think to yourself like, maybe it's time. Maybe this is it. And if you don't, then you're lying. I don't believe you. So luckily, there's a tree branch nearby. She grabs it. She's able to, you know, smack the javelina, get it off of her. She was able to get a hold of a tree branch to fight it off, then ran. I will never walk in the dark <laughs> ever again. She makes it over to traffic and she's, luckily, people actually stop to help her. Some drivers actually stop to help her. The damage to, done to her arm did require surgery to fix, repair it. Um, the puncture wounds in her back, those healed on their own, thankfully. But yeah, she has vowed to never walk alone in the dark again. Um, to be fair to her, she wasn't really alone, but that was kind of the problem. See, an official from the Wildlife World Zoo and Aquarium actually came out and said she did everything right the whole like making yourself big and making a loud noise, that's what you're supposed to do. The problem is she had the dogs with her. 
it is good to be really loud. If you encounter some of this wildlife, sometimes just clapping and yelling and being loud is all you need to do for the wildlife to run in the opposite direction. And if you see a javelina, you wanna pick your dog up if your dog's small enough and go the other way. Javelinas don't have great eyesight. They have a great sense of smell. However, to a javelina, a coyote and a dog smell the same. So if it had just been Hanson and she made a loud noise and was scary, it might've chosen flight. But because the javelina could smell dogs and went, that's a predator. And probably, you know, I don't know how javelina brains work. I'm assuming that the javelina brain went, mm, that might attack me and decided to attack first, fight. The javelinas are most active in the dusk and nightfall times, which is why she said she wouldn't walk again alone at night. The number one cause for attacks are actually the public feeding javelina, which is detrimental to the species. But I do want to know, um, for you guys, like, is there anything, any animal in your general area where it's like, it's kind of a concern, but like, you don't really like keep it at the forefront of your mind, like, like the javelina. I know where I live, we've got bobcats, we've got coyotes and yeah, like it's a concern, but it doesn't really, you don't think about it that much when you're out and about, even though yeah, like way back there in your mind, you're like, oh yeah, those are around. So I should be diligent. Do you guys have anything like that? Let me know in the comments. Staying in Arizona, but moving to Tucson, we have a 58 year old dog walker who ended up with a broken leg after being charged by a javelina. According to Game and Fish, javelinas view dogs as coyotes, which we just went over, and they will often attack because they feel threatened. Meanwhile, people were also getting bitten in two separate incidents in Tucson um, by javelinas while also walking dogs. Yeah. An 11 year old was walking with her mother, who was also injured, um, and they were seen at the hospital for minor injuries. But just days previously, a woman walking her dog was attacked from behind by a javelina. She ended up with a two inch gash on her thigh. The dog had a leg wound um, and both of them required treatment, but not hospitalization. So, I mean, just like, don't walk your dog in Tucson, I guess. I don't know. It's hard because obviously Arizona gets super hot, but javelinas are most active at night like dusk nightfall when it's cooling down so that's when people are gonna walk their dogs because you don't want to walk them in a gazillion degree heat so it's like what are you supposed to do i would not want to walk my dog in tucson arizona i'm sure a lot of people do and don't get accosted by javelinas but still the risk right like i don't like that that's too many times that's too close together no so evolutionarily peccaries and pigs are very distinct but in a more practical sense, um, they differ in a lot of crucial ways. So most obvious is the size and the speed of growth. A fully grown male javelina, collared peccary, tops out at 60 pounds in about three to five years, while a pig can reach that same weight in less than a year and can get to 150 to 300 pounds. Pigs are also just generally more destructive than javelinas because they're more aggressive rooters due to their larger size and higher caloric intake. Javelinas are designed to fulfill a niche in their habitat, whereas wild boars, wild pigs, the ones that we've introduced that are not native species, are destructive in the extreme and they pretty much ruin natural ecosystems that they do not belong to. Still in Tucson, we have a woman, Relic, whose simple trip to take out the trash took a dangerous turn. You know, by the time I knew there was an issue, it was way too late. Kelly Rylich has lived in her Hidden Valley home for 23 years. On Tuesday night at around 6.30, she stepped outside to move some bins. And that everyday okay. chore suddenly turned into a two minute attack. She was attacked by a single 35 to 55 pound javelina. And I know that that is quite the range. That's what I've got to work with. This javelina came seemingly out of nowhere and sent the trash can and relic flying through the air. He hit the trash barrel, sent me and the trash barrel flying, and then immediately started lunging at me. Kelly says the javelina chased her down and bit her leg. I couldn't get up because he kept circling around and he was 
you know, they're actually a lot faster than you expect. So when she tried to escape, the javelina chased her down and bit her leg. And as we know, um, a javelina bite can be extremely debilitating, damaging, destructive, all of the above. She was able to escape and get through her front gate to safety. I finally managed to shove him with the, with the trash barrel and I scrambled up and I ran into my courtyard that has the little gate. But it didn't end there. The animal chased Kelly into her front yard. Cause this is when she realized she's locked out of the front door. She also realized that she was locked out of her front door and yelled for help, but the javelina wouldn't leave and held its ground for about 20 minutes. Yep. She screamed for help, but uh, the javelina would not leave. It held its ground for 20 minutes. This javelina had something against whatever was in her trash can. I don't know. That's a really long time to just be mad. And it was big mad. Um, eventually, Relic managed to shove the javelina away with the trash barrel, and she made it to her courtyard that has this small gate. But during this time of, of being in the courtyard, the javelina continued to pace back and forth, back and forth, and would every once in a while just throw itself at the gate, let me in, meme style. He just kept like pacing back and forth and back and forth. And every once in a while he would he would like throw his body up against the gate and I'm scared to death. Let me in. Let me in. Now, the javelina even pulled up like her solar lights from out of the ground and started chomping on him. Just mad, wanted something to do with its anger. Finally, one of Relic's neighbors hears the screams. I don't know how it took them over 20 minutes, but whatever. They hear the screams, they call 911. So now, Relic plans to double check her surroundings from now on. She also has a word of caution just for anyone who chooses to live in a remote area because she was in a more remote area of Tucson. Just be very careful if you're walking a dog because uh, javelinas have a tendency to not like dogs and if you see one, don't approach it. What lesson did we learn? We learned not to walk our dogs in Tucson, Arizona. That is legitimately the only lesson that I took away from this whole story. Javelinas don't like dogs. True, true story, true facts. Um, I don't know what else you can do about that. I'm sorry. If you liked this video and you want more bloodthirsty animal content, then hit that subscribe right meow. I am here Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Bye. And it came seemingly out of nowhere. The javelina hit the trash barrel and sent Relic and the trash barrel just... I'm sorry, Velvet. This javelina came seemingly out of nowhere and sent the trash can and relic flying through the